video for October the 28th. The last one before Halloween, and I just couldn't resist. So let's get to some Skycam imagery. So there's a look at the Skycam network from Alpha for Tuscaloosa. And uh, sure can't see it too well since it's fairly dark, but we've got some clouds. Clouds a little bit visible as the lights from Clanton are uh, kind of giving a little eerie effect to the clouds as we look out over the trees there from downtown Clanton. On the surface map this morning, we're dealing with a large high-pressure system as well as a rather strong storm in the Atlantic. Those two basically bringing a lot of cold air together. Uh, Sandy, of course, as it's moving up the Atlantic coast, and then we'll take a left turn into the Delmarva Peninsula area, uh, helping to in enhance the circulation, that northerly flow around the high, so uh, bringing a lot of cold air as well as some snow to the Appalachians. In the upper atmosphere, of course, we're dealing with this big trough over the central part of the country, which will uh, eventually merge with uh, the upper low that is sandy in the upper atmosphere, and that will create an interesting and rather troublesome problem for the uh, northeastern U.S. and the mid-Atlantic coastal states. In the meantime, though, a lot of cold air amassing to our north in Canada. You can see all that uh, dark blue. Some of those down, especially the purple, down into single-digit values. Fortunately, no single digits here, but you can see all those little circles indicating the clouds where uh, it looks like Mississippi is breaking up, and we'll probably see the clouds breaking up this afternoon or late this morning. So I do expect to see some sun. Uh, temperature still not going to climb a great deal today. We'll probably only go up about 10 degrees. And the watch warning map across the country is a real hodgepodge of different things. There's just all kinds of stuff going on relative to Sandy, coastal flood watches, flash flood watches, um, high wind advisories, all kinds of things. Plus, we've got things like winter storm advisories uh, for the um, western slopes of the Appalachians uh, down uh, from West Virginia down into uh, the edge of North Carolina. And then uh, in addition to that, those uh, cyan values out in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri are freeze advisories. And in addition to that, uh, south of Lake Michigan, because of that northerly fetch, we have a coastal flood watch going on for those folks. So just a lot of things as a result of Sandy. And, of course, one of the things is precipitation and uh, liquid and frozen <laughs> for this case. And as Sandy comes into the uh, Maryland, Delaware, uh, uh, New Jersey, Pennsylvania area, uh, it's going to create a lot of storm surge to the north of it, so along the New Jersey coast and up into New York. And then in addition to that, on the order of anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of rain can be expected over the next five days, starting probably uh, Monday. Uh, if we look at where the snow is going to occur, uh, this is the probabilities of more than four inches uh, for day two, and that's Monday. And then for day three, uh, you can see it's pretty much in the same area, and it's uh, you know the southern Appalachians from uh, North Carolina and extreme northeast uh, Tennessee across uh, Virginia and West Virginia. So uh, higher elevations, perhaps as much as one to two feet. Yeah, I said feet. All right, there's a look at the graphical tropical weather outlook, and there's Sandy. That's the only storm we're really focusing on. There's the track of Sandy, and indeed, Sandy expected to remain a hurricane right up until it gets to landfall uh, on the Delmarva Peninsula area, and that should come early Tuesday morning. So, uh, But remember, the effects of this storm, this is a big storm. The effects of this storm are huge. So things will begin to affect it beforehand. And then here's the computer model tracks. And again, they're in good agreement. They're coming into good agreement, uh, bringing it in at a perpendicular angle to the coast, which is not good. That means that there'll be a lot of storm surge along the New Jersey. All right, here's the 0 60 GFS model run. And of course, here's the upper air pattern for Monday. And of course, the trough merging with Sandy over uh, basically the mid-Atlantic coast. And of course, there comes Sandy uh, getting very close to the, to the coast Monday afternoon. By Tuesday, the two systems have merged, creating quite a, uh, quite a closed low, a very deep pattern. And then at the surface, we're beginning to see some changes in terms of weakening because, of course, Sandy is getting over land. 
The system is not going anywhere on Wednesday, the 31st. This is Halloween, and there you go. There's the closed low, uh, maybe just a little weaker, and, of course, surface low a bit weaker on Wednesday, but still creating a lot of precipitation from West Virginia and extreme Western Virginia all the way up into New England. The system doesn't change much, but, of course, it's ingesting some dry air, so uh, we see the precipitation pattern changing a bit. And then on Friday, we're finally beginning to see the uh, storm head on out to the northeast and move out away, but still causing some precipitation up there. By Saturday, we are under a high for us, uh, under an upper ridge, with a little bit of a short wave coming across the Dakotas. And that short wave, of course, I expect to dampen just a little bit as it comes into the ridge. But uh, in the meantime, with lack of moisture, uh, we may see a little bit of rain chances the first of next week, but they're going to be pretty slim simply because of uh, lack of moisture. At least that's the way it looks at the moment. Now, going out into voodoo country, we see another storm system around the 6th. And that one could bring us uh, another shot at some rain. And then, whoa, look at this, another whopper of a system expected around the 12th. Fairly deep trough coming out of the eastern Rockies. And that could produce uh, possibly uh, a round of severe weather for some place in the eastern half of the country. But out in voodoo, we're not going to try to specify where. It just has the look that we might see for severe weather. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. I certainly appreciate you tuning in. James Spann will be back with the next edition first thing Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope your Sunday is a good one and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>